Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about NG tube, means nasogastric tube. Nasogastric tube is a method of introducing a tube through nose into stomach for therapeutic or diagnosis purposes. Nasogastric tube used for the purpose of feeding must be radio opaque throughout their length and have externally visible length markings. So nasogastric tube is a tube that is inserted through the nose down the throat and esophagus and into the stomach. It can be used to give drugs, liquids and liquid food or used to remove substances from the stomach. Giving food through a nasogastric tube is a type of external nutrition. It is also called gastric feeding tube and NG tube. Next comes to the purposes of NG tubes. Decompression means remove fluid and gas from stomach. Prevent or relieve N and V after surgery by decompression to determine amount of pressure and motor activity in gastrointestinal tract. Irrigate stomach after poisoning. Treat mechanical obstruction. Administer medications and nutrition and obtain specimens when pyloric or intestinal obstruction suspected. Next comes to the types of feeding tubes. First is nasogastric tube. In nasogastric tube, the feeding tube passes through the nose, down the throat and esophagus and end in the stomach. Second is nasojejunal tube. In this, the feeding tube passes through the nose, throat and esophagus, continues through the stomach and ends in the first section of the small intestine. Third is percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy. In this, the feeding tube is inserted directly into the stomach. Fourth is jejunostomy. In jejunostomy, the feeding tube is surgically inserted into the jejunum, the middle section of the small intestine. Next comes to the procedure of inserting NG tube. At first, explain the procedure to the patient and gain verbal consent. Gather equipment needed, wash hands and don PPE. Position patient in upright position if able. Estimate the length of tube using next measurement. Ask patient to blow nose if able. Lubricate NG tube. Give patient glass of water if safe for them to swallow. Insert tube into nostril, guiding it gently downwards over the nasopharynx. Encourage patient to take sips of water with advising tube. Insert tube to point measured via nix. Secure tube using tape. Check tube position by aspirating 1 ml fluid and testing pH. Ensure it is below 5.5. If pH below 5.5, guide wire can be removed and tube is safe to use. Next comes to the nursing responsibilities for NG tube insertion. At first, assess tube every 2-4 to four hours per patency. Irrigate closed tube according to physician's instructions. Monitor vacuum source setting. Assess tubing connections and color, amount and consistency of gastric drainage. Assess positioning of tubing and atlas ascultate bowel sounds every 4 hours. 